Whenever I purchase a new lodge skillet, I always strip the pre-seasoning and apply my own special method of seasoning to the skillet. Now, to strip the skillet, there's many different ways of doing it. You could put it in a self-clean oven and burn the pre-seasoning off. You could use a lye tank, or you could use an electrolysis tank. But what if you don't have any of those? What's the next best way to try to do this? And today what I want to demonstrate is how to strip a lodge skillet with Easy Off Oven Cleaner. To do this, you're going to need four basic things. First, you want to do this in a well-ventilated area. Now you can see we're outside right now, so you can't really get better ventilated than being outside. Second, you're going to need a pair of rubber gloves to protect your hands in the process. Easy Off Oven Cleaner contains lye, and it will burn your skin if you don't protect it. Third, you want a nice, big, heavy-duty trash bag to wrap the skillet up in at the end of the process. And last but not least, you need a can of Easy Off Heavy Duty Oven Cleaner. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, prepare my bag. I'm going to get it good and spread out, and then I'm going to sit the skillet in it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now, when I spray this down, I'm going to spray the back side first, and then I'm going to spray the inside. So let's take our lodge label out. This is a beautiful 12 inch skillet that I got really cheap. And make sure that when you do this, that you're doing it uh, to where the wind isn't blowing right at you because that would totally defeat the purpose. Okay. The skillet is inside the bag, and now we're just going to give uh, a nice, even coat to the entire skillet. Make sure you don't breathe any of those fumes those are dangerous. Now you can do this with any type of skillet. You can do it with a vintage skillet that has a lot of gunk on it. Uh, this is probably my least favorite way of stripping a skillet uh, just because it takes time. The lye has to have time to work on the gunk of the skillet but on a large pre-season skillet this should really only take maybe about a day. Okay, get a shot of that. You can see the skillet is well covered. I've got the handle, I've got all sides, and that's that. So, give it a little bit, a little bit more. And we're going to flip this now and get the other side. All right, I'm going to flip that over. And it's fine if it sits on the bottom, it's sprayed already. And so, uh, that's going to work out great. Get your handle really well. And that's all you need. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to close it up. And kind of get some of the air out. Just going to wrap it up like that. And I'm going to put this in the garage and let it sit for about a day. And we'll come back and check it and see how it does. Okay, it's been about 30 hours and we're going to go ahead and take this out of the bag to see how the Easy Off did in cleaning this uh, large 12 inch preseason skillet. Still looks pretty grimy, but uh, let's give this a good rinse and see what it looks like. And you can see the pre-seasoning is just rinsing right off. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Probably have to use a little elbow grease and use some steel wool and scrub it the rest of the way. But uh, it's coming right off. Look at that. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and finish rinsing this off. And then we're going to give this a good scrub. And to do that, we're going to use some grade uh, quadruple zero steel wool. Double zero is fine if that's all you can find and some ivory liquid. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this, get this completely rinsed off. I'm going to be careful not to waste too much water if we don't have to. But we do want to get all that oven cleaner off. Like I said, this took about a day on a, a pre-season uh, cast iron skillet from Lodge. That's all you're going to need. If this were a vintage skillet with a lot of gunk on it, uh, you could possibly need three or four days, and you may even need to spray it after a couple of days, uh, maybe spray it again. So, right, so that's good and rinse. 
And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a little bit of ivory liquid and scrub it with the steel wool. As you can see, this is coming right off. There's a couple places it's being a little bit stubborn, but uh, for the most part, it's working great. All right, let's check out the outside. A couple places that are still being a little stubborn, and we'll get to those. And uh, but for the most part, that is what a bare lodge skillet looks like. Pretty good. Okay, this skillet is good and clean now. You saw the good scrub that we gave it with the soap, water, and steel wool. But as an extra precaution, we're going to give this a wash with 50% distilled vinegar and water. Now on the Easy Off website, they say that any utensil cleaned with Easy Off needs to be washed down with vinegar and water. And so that's what we're going to do. So about 50% vinegar and 50% water. I'm not going to do a soap. I'm not trying to get rust off of this or anything like that. I'm just trying to make sure that all that lye is off of there. All right, that's good enough. And uh, we're just going to wet that and just come back in and give the skillet a good scrub down. After this, we'll go over it with soap and water again. But uh, Now we're just going to give this another rinse and I'm going to give it a, just a light scrub with my steel wool soap and water once again. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to give this something called a cold water rinse. Now what a cold water rinse does, it prevents something called flash rust. A lot of times when you clean a skillet and you dry it and the skillet doesn't have any oil, rust will start to set in immediately. And I found that giving it a cold water rinse with icy cold water helps to prevent that. Okay, we're going to get that dried off and move on. Before seasoning your skillet, make sure that your oven is preheated to 200 degrees. A gas oven will produce water vapor, so make sure that the oven is preheated so all that vapor is burned off. To season my skillets, I use Crisco shortening. Now you're also going to need a rag to wipe the Crisco on with, and then I use these lint-free Scott paper towels to wipe the Crisco off with. They work really great, and I find these at Home Depot. Also, you're going to need something to protect your hands with. I love these anti-steam of gloves. Uh, they work on temperatures up to uh, supposedly 540 degrees, but the hottest that I'll handle the skillet will be about 300 degrees, so these are just perfect. Okay, our skillet is good and dry, and the oven is preheated to 200 degrees. So we're going to put that in the oven, and we're going to let that warm up for approximately 15 minutes. Okay, our skillet has been preheated to 200 degrees, and so now we're going to take it out and we're going to apply our Crisco. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply a generous amount to the inside and outside. And with a beer skillet, uh, it just really soaks up this oil, so uh, don't be afraid to put on a good amount. And now we're also going to get the outside. And the next thing you want to do is you want to wipe the oil completely off. Okay, I know that sounds crazy and I know that goes against what a lot of people say, but you want to wipe the oil completely off. There'll still be a fine layer there, but uh, we're going to do a couple layers of this. And so what happens a lot of times if you don't wipe it off, the oil tends to pool and that is not attractive. So we want a nice even black patina on our skillet and so that's why we wipe it completely off. Alright, I'm going to wipe the outside off. Now a large skillet is a little rough. And so sometimes you might see a little bit of your paper towel pulling off a little bit. Don't worry about that at all. And just kind of go and kind of dust that off a little bit. 
Looks good. Okay, now we're going to put this back in the oven. And then we are going to preheat our oven to 300 degrees for a period of 15 minutes. Now it's crucial that you watch this time because if you let it stay in longer than 15 minutes, it's going to pull. We're going to wait 15 minutes and then we're going to wipe the skillet one more time. Okay, we've reached our 15 minute time period and we're going to take the skillet out and it's now at a temperature of 300 degrees and we're just going to take our paper towel. This method is great because it works on modern lodge as well as vintage cast iron. So, uh, we've done probably about 100 pieces this way so I'm sure that it works. And now we're going to go back in the oven. I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees and then we are going to set the timer for two hours. After this two hour time period we're going to let the skillet cool completely and then we're going to do this again. We're going to season this a total of three times. I don't like to go more than three because I find with multiple seasonings the seasoning just tends to flake off. So we're going to do it three times and uh, so we'll be back in two hours. Okay the first seasoning cycle has been completed and let's take a look at our skillet. Looks great. Now keep in mind that uh, we're going to season this a couple more times so it's going to get darker and darker and then as we use it it's going to get completely jet black and it'll start to have a nice gloss on it. So now what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 200 degrees and we're going to start that process all over again. The skillet has reached 200 degrees and we're going to take it out and we're going to apply our Crisco. Good amount. You can see how heating that skillet helps that Crisco to melt right on. And that is what we want. Remember to get your handle really good. Flip that over. Get inside that assist handle. And now, as we did before, we're going to wipe it all off. Alright, now we'll go back into the oven. And I'm going to preheat my oven to 300 degrees for 15 minutes exactly. And then we're going to take the skillet out and wipe it again. Alright, our 15 minute timer has just gone off. I'm going to take the skillet out and we're going to give it another wipe down. Alright, we're going back in the oven. And we're going to raise the temperature to 400 degrees. And we're going to set that for two hours and then let it completely cool. The second seasoning is complete and the skillet has cooled completely. So let's check it out. It's looking pretty good. Like I said, it'll keep getting darker and darker. Back looks great. So uh, we're going to do this a third and final time. After that, we'll just start cooking with our skillet. So we're going to start the process all over. I'm going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees, put the skillet in, and let it heat up. The skillet has reached 200 degrees, so we're going to take it out, apply our Crisco, and then wipe it all off. Okay, we're going to go back in the oven. and preheat our oven to 300 degrees. Okay, the skillet has been in the oven on 300 for 15 minutes. And get it out and wipe it down, inside and outside. One last time. Okay. Back into the oven. Heat to 400 for two hours and we are done. It's a beautifully seasoned skillet, seasoned three times. There's the inside. We're not going to season it anymore, we're just going to start cooking in our skillet. Now I want to talk a little bit about how I maintain my cast iron skillets. After cooking, I use two basic things to clean my skillets. First of all, I use these lodge pan scrapers. 
These are available on Lodge's website for just a couple of bucks a piece, but these things are like gold when it comes to cleaning cast iron. Second, I use these Scotch-Brite non-scratch scouring pads. These are available in any grocery store, and together these work really well with cleaning a cast iron skillet. I never use soap. I never leave a skillet on the burner and pour water in it and boil it to clean it. I just use these two things. That's all I've ever used, and that's all you'll need as well. After cleaning and drying your skillet, take the skillet and put it over a hot burner for approximately two minutes. Once the skillet has preheated for two minutes, take a tiny bit of Crisco and rub it into the skillet. I do this to my skillets every time I clean them and uh, it keeps them looking gorgeous. Okay, at the outside and just a tiny bit on the inside. Not as much as we do when we're seasoning a skillet, but just a tiny bit. If your seasoning gets damaged in cooking, this is very instrumental in rebuilding it. But if you do this every time, you have a gorgeous skillet in no time. After that, we're going to wipe it all off. Wipe it really good. You don't want your skillet to be wet at all. Flip that over and wipe the other side. Get it really good, wipe it really hard. You don't want any excess oil on there. And we're gonna return the skillet to the burner and we're gonna let it stay there until it smokes lightly. Once it smokes lightly, we're gonna turn it off, let it cool and it's ready to store. So that's pretty much how I maintain my cast iron skillets. If you do this maintenance regimen every time you clean your skillets, your skillets will always perform beautifully and they'll look great too. Thanks for watching.